Welcome to Franklin Law. I had a, a consultation with a prospective client in December of 2020. And the conversation was related to this, uh, a single woman, a widow, and the, uh, the issues involved what she was going to do with her estate plan. She had one child and one adult child married, one grandchild. And the discussion came up whether or not she should put her son, I'll tell you the son, the, uh, the names and identities are uh, changed to protect the innocent. She was thinking about putting her son on the deed or gifting the home to her son. And uh, we spoke through the ramifications of that. Right? What could be, does that make sense in a larger, um, in the larger concept of estate planning? and whether or not that would be the best course of action. So I provided information and discussed and, and answered questions. And the client didn't proceed in any way. My suggestion, um, when directly asked about this, is I don't rec recommend that as a course of action. You're subject to your adult child's creditors, predators, potential divorce, bankruptcy, personal injury lawsuit, right? A number of things. Unfortunately, uh, I spoke to the client, prospective client, this week, just a few months ago. A tragic heart attack. This woman's son passed away. Now, the circumstances are, is that In, in this home, there's a daughter-in-law, there's a grandchild, and the circumstances are that she's not getting along with the daughter-in-law. And the daughter-in-law is not cooperating, not assisting with bill payments. And, you know, so now we have a different set of concerns. But really and truly, the circumstances were the prospective client is grief-stricken, she's upset, has to figure out how she can save this home, right, because there are circumstances involved with paying of the bills. The content that I received, the indication is that if in fact she would have put her child's name on the deed exclusively, she felt today that she would have been displaced, pushed out of the house. And she did thank me for giving her the information and the advice that I had given her and counseled her on uh, last year. But there, there is something we can do. So if we would have proceeded in December, there would have been a course of action and conduct where we could have put the home in a trust. Uh, we could have provided for uh, the son, we could provide for the grandchild that is still well based on you know that conversation and several conversations and what I understand about the family that may have been the right option now there's a different set of options different uh, you know before us on the table we could put out all of the assets and figure out where to move them how to make them uh, go and get where she would like them to go and ultimately get. If you want to speak to me about your circumstances, please reach out. FrankBrunoLaw.com